What's going on guys? Matt over here with Z01 Add-ons and today we're going to show you how to install our 2024 S650 platform Mustang tow hook receiver. Now if you have a GT or Eco, non or premium, so if you have a performance pack or dark horse, you're not going to need a receiver. You'll need a different tow hook. Don't watch this video, just go find the right product that you need. If you have the regular GT Eco or the premium GT or Eco, you'll need to add a receiver to add like a plate holder, a tow hook, etc. So today we're going to show you quickly how to do that. You will have to remove the front fascia of your vehicle. You'll want to check out the Ford step-by-step -step guide on how to remove your front bumper. It's pretty simplistic. Bunch of screws in the front, a couple on the fenders, comes right off. We have it sitting right over here. Um, the other thing that you will have to remove slash modify is the inner crash absorber. So there's an absorber that sits right in here on this bumper. It just clips, basically clips in and holds in with these clips. You're gonna unclip it and pull it out and we'll show you what you're gonna do to this piece here in a minute. So our receiver is gonna bolt right up to your front crash bar horn. You can see our design is a plate, it's a steel plate design. It will support the full weight of the vehicle. So if you're ever need to be towed or you're running our tow hook, this will allow you to be towed from that. Also, it will allow you to mount our license plate holder. You can do camera mounts. So if you're going to the racetrack or running autocross and you want a GoPro or stuff like that, you'll need the setup that is the receiver and the shaft. The shaft will come out your factory opening that's on the front bumper, and then you can mount all the accessories at the end. Again, like our tow hook, plate holder, camera holders, etc. But the install is really simple. So there's gonna be two metal back plates that are gonna slide behind the crash bar. And then if you look at the actual receiver right here, we put a little pin mark. Where are you at? We put a little pin mark, our dimple, and that's gonna tell you which side faces up. So in this instance, dimples up. It's gonna sit right here on the crash bar. These back plates are threaded, so we're gonna be using stainless bolts with locking washers, and then they're gonna thread right on into these back pieces. So we'll get this thread in, maybe. It's hard to do. So our plates are powder coated, uh, so they will be protected from weather and whatnot. It's a pretty durable setup. Now you are gonna have a little bit of play with this setup. Now keep in mind, what we're going through is a hole of this size. So in this instance, we had done some modifications on this car when we were designing this setup. So they had cut off the entire bracket here to allow the clearance because of the way that this plastic piece is designed. But you can trim this piece back instead of lopping it all the way off. You know, so if you look at from this side over here, you can kind of see where it was cut off for the initial design. But if you trim these upper pieces, it will allow the clearance up in here to allow this to go right back in to your front crash bar. Uh, you don't have to lop it off, but you can lop it off if you want, if you see where it's at. So you'll see the hole that's gonna line up like right here. You can kind of see how that is. So, you can cut it off here, or you can trim the back side of this where the plastic is. It kind of wraps around right here, and that will allow you the clearance for the bolts and the spacers, etc. And you would want to do that because if you just mount this in here, it's going to bulge everything forward, the thickness of this piece, and that's not ideal. You, we have to address that so it's going to nice, sit nice and flush so you don't have something trying to push on your front bumper. So in this, we're just gonna tighten it up. So it's a 14 millimeter socket. And there you go. And before you put your bumper back on, you can use your actual crash bar to verify your fitment. So you'll wanna just center this up 
on this and that will let you know. And as long as your receiver is center, you're good to go. At this point, you're gonna to wanna to button up your car, put everything back together, and you can install plate holders, tow hooks, camera mounts, all that stuff. Check out our site, z one addonscom Thanks for checking out the video.